up everyone it's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys and as you can see by the title of this video I have another haul video for you guys and this is because September was my birthday or is my birthday or my birthday actually just passed at the time that I am filming this and for a birthday present my dad took me to the bookstore it's one of my favorite places to go so I figured why not do a haul for you guys of the manga that I actually ended up buying while I was in the store or while I was in the bookstore <laughs> I have to say this is starting to become like a monthly thing where I literally every month come out with a haul video. Let's see how long I can keep this going. But for now, let's get into the manga that I was able to purchase for the month of September. So one of the first mangas I was able to buy or actually wanted to buy was the third volume of Sweat and Soap. Now I'll be completely honest with you guys, I still have volumes one and two and I have not read them yet, but I do plan to read them during the month of September. They're a part of my September TBR list, so of course I had to go and buy volume number three. I'm super excited to read it. Like I said, I still haven't read it yet, but when they had volume three in stores, of course I had to buy it. And the next volume or the next manga that I actually purchased was actually something that I didn't think I would actually buy because I didn't know a lot about it. But after watching Mama Loves Manga's uh, live stream where she was reading this, which is Uzumaki, which is a horror manga, I had to purchase it. I have never read a horror manga before or thriller manga. I have mostly only read like shoujo mangas or shonen mangas kind of stuff that I mostly tend to watch, which as many of you guys know, I love shoujo anime, I love shonen anime. I have though watched some like thriller or horror anime like um, Hiro no Naku Noro Ni. I believe I might be saying that anime completely wrong, but it's When They Cry. I've seen so many like seasons of that anime. And I've also watched um, uh, a few other ones as well which I can't remember off the top of my head but I've never read a horror manga and since October is just next month I think this might be on my TBR list for October only because I really want to get into the spooky season and the fall season I mean right now I'm into my pumpkin spice a little bit more so definitely had to pick this up and I'm super excited to read it like I said I don't read a lot of horror manga so I can't wait to see what's in store when I actually end up reading this. Now actually even though those two were mangas I did get another book and it's not exactly a manga but it is a comic and it is this book called Little Moments of Love and it's a, a Katana comics. Now I followed Katana on Instagram and she has the best comics and most of them are just comics of day-to-day -day life of her and her boyfriend or now fiance and I have to say I've enjoyed reading these so much. They're just so lovable and so sweet and so funny. I definitely recommend it. I also have her other book, which is called Snug as well. I believe this is her first one. So I actually bought her second one first. And then when I was in the bookstore, I saw they had their first one. And I know that she has a third one coming out early next year. So I'm so excited to get that third one as well. But for now, I did read this. I actually already finished it. Like the first day I got it, as soon as I got home, I read it and like totally binged it. It was super easy to read, so it's not a long read. But this is the third book that I actually ended up purchasing. So that's actually all the books that I actually ended up getting. That's my haul. I did get a lot. This is mostly because Uzumaki was a little bit more expensive. It was like $30 for that book. And then Sweat and Soap was like, I don't know, like 12 bucks, something along that line. So I didn't buy a whole lot only because I wanted to try and keep the cost down. You know, this was a birthday present, but I didn't want to take advantage of the fact that it was my birthday and decided mostly to keep it a little low. But if I hadn't have gotten Uzumaki, I probably would have bought a little bit more manga since since the cost probably would have been a little bit less. But Uzumaki took up most of the money, which was perfectly fine. And like I said, I'm super excited to read it. But what mangas are you planning to read? I know for me, for the month of September, I do plan to read volumes 1 through 6, uh, six of Fushigi Yugi. And that is a part of a readathon that I'm a part of on Instagram, which is hosted by Bunny Choi. She's actually hosting it, and it's an amazing readathon. It actually starts today on the day that I'm filming this. So I do plan to finish all six of those volumes during the month of September or during the next week. And I also plan to read volumes one and two of Soap for the month of September. Probably might start try to get number three in there as well. Plus, I want to read um, Spy Family, which I've been reading on the Viz Media Manga app. 
So yeah, lots of manga that I'm planning to try to read during the month of September. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. And of course, please comment below what manga you're reading during the month of September. Any recent manga that you bought? What's your current favorite manga right now that you're reading? I definitely want to know. So please feel free to comment that below. Of course, you can also feel free to comment any suggestions that you have for future videos because I actually love like reading you guys' suggestions and I absolutely a lot of times do a lot of suggestions that you guys suggest because a lot of suggestions are actually really cool and things I would have never ever have thought about. And of course in the description box I have links to all my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a blog so please check me out all on there and you know follow me if you like. Of course also for this video give it a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you don't. It really lets me know what you guys like, what you guys didn't like and of course if you are watching my videos and notice that you keep going to my videos please subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate that but all right that's what i have you guys like i always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and in today's day and age stay healthy and of course stay safe all right you guys bye